So <clears throat> good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church to Cuesta, Florida on this Monday, the 24th of May, 2021. My name is Letty Anderson and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is now streamed live exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodsheponline.org, which is our new website. Click on prayer and study. Scroll down to find the service leaflet for this morning's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately after the service leaflet, <clears throat> immediately above the service leaflets is a picture of prayer books in the pews. Click on this link to join on Zoom. <clears throat> the service will always be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, the prayer and study page of goodsheponline.org. Um, so today Ian wanted me to note that as we celebrated yesterday the Feast of Pentecost, the last of the great 50 days of Easter. So today we begin the long season after Pentecost that constitutes the latter half of the church year. But not so fast. There's also a tradition mentioned frequently by Bishop Eaton in his daily reflections of observing the major feast days over the course of the week following, the so-called octave of the feast. And so this week we will be saying the opening sentence and invitatory antiphons for the Feast of Pentecost. Similarly, next week we will observe the octave of <clears throat> Trinity Sunday. We'll still be using the lectionary passages from the or from ordinary time. This week is proper three, but the observances of the octaves will allow us to celebrate the end of Easter season a little bit longer. So good morning, Debbie. And let us begin our service this morning. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. <clears throat> Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins who our Lord Jesus Christ Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, the spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let us say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. 
The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, the spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 25. We'll say the psalm in unison. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. My Lord is a friend to those who fear him and will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have pity on me, for I am left alone and in misery. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies for they are many and they bear a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our first lesson this morning is from the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. But take care and watch yourselves closely so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children, how you once stood before the Lord your God at Horeb, when the Lord said to me, assemble the people for me, and I will let them hear my words, so that they, they may learn to fear me as long as they live on the earth and may teach their children to do so. You approached and stood at the foot of the mountain while the mountain was blazing up to the very heavens, shrouded in dark clouds. Then the Lord spoke to you out of the fire. You heard the sound of words, but saw no form. There was only a voice. He declared to you his covenant, which he charged you to observe, that is the 10 commandments and he wrote them on two stone tablets. And the Lord charged me at that time to teach you statutes and ordinances for you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Our second canticle this morning is the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our second lesson this morning is from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, including all the saints through Ikea, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken. We know that, for, that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly, unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we would, not rely, that we would rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He who rescued us from a deadly, so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope that he will rescue us again, as you also join in helping us by your prayers, so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted to us through the prayers of many. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One, all nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect appointed for the day with the season or the octave of Pentecost, as we were talking about earlier, is the um, collect appointed for the day of Pentecost. O oh God, who on this day taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A collect for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. O oh God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Caledonia, Canada, the Right Reverend David Lehman Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Laish Zane Boyd Senior Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> 
We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today, especially Ricardo, Letty, Joanna, Kathleen and family, Karen, Kay, Liz, Todd, Wally and Evelyn, James, Nicholas, Joe, Lance, Kelly, Brad and Linda, Abigail, Bill, Gloria, and Nico. We also pray for our worship ministries, remembering especially Altar Guild, that through the prayerful attention to detail, all of God's children may experience the mystery of the Eucharist and the Eucharistic visitors, that homebound members of Good Shepherd may share in the communion of Christ's body and blood. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And good morning, Debbie, Joan, Kathy, Octavia, and Ian. I would like to ask your prayers again for my friend Mary, whose husband Peter died um, a week and a half ago. And um, just to give her strength to pray for his soul. Um, she's doing really well, but I think she needs all the prayers she can get. Her son was here with her until Saturday evening. So she is living alone right now, which she hasn't done for many years. Um, so a friend of mine said, you know, when my husband goes out of town, I know that he'll be back. But in this instance, of course, he won't. So that's one of the things I just like your prayers for her strength. And Ian, pray for all those suffering from COVID-19, especially in India and in South America. And thank you, Octavia. Prayers for Ron, who suffered a stroke. And thank you, Joan. Thanksgiving to God. I, she has a buyer for her apartment. That's great news, Joan. Um, so if there's any other prayers, um, again, I'd like to pray for all nurses and doctors and caregivers, also those with COVID-19. Thanksgiving that our numbers are going down, but right now they're sort of holding steady and I'm hoping that they're gonna really start going down soon. I think in the Treasure Coast and Palm Beach area, um, we're doing really well. Everything's opening back up. And Debbie, thank you. Thanks for a friend out of the hospital from sepsis infection. That's pretty serious. We'll give Thanksgiving for that. Thank you, Debbie. We'll conclude with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church 
and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And thank you, Octavia. Um, thanks for our service, but I also would like to thank all of you for joining us this morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida. I don't think it's going to be too terribly hot so we can all get outside and maybe enjoy the weather. We'll be here every day this week. And um, I want to um, remind everyone that now we're going to goodshiponline.org. I believe if you go to the Good Ship virtual, you get the same, but sometimes I have not been able to get there to, um, to our website. So it's goodshiponline.org. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week. Thank you.